Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat. You're watching iGAN and this is going to be an exclusive unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy on 8. This is a first look video, the only unboxing that is out right now and towards the end of the video we have a great surprise for you. So stay tuned, let's get started. So the Samsung Galaxy On 8 has been launched for a price of Rs 16,990 and it will be going on sale starting August 6th, 12pm or noon exclusively on Flipkart and Samsung's own website. I'll leave links to buying the device in the description below. There are also some cool offers including a no cost EMI plus some data offers. More details like I mentioned you can go and check out in the description below. So the box of the device is iconic in terms of uh, the On devices. We've seen some On devices in the past they do have an infinity brand on the front which means that this display is a new wide aspect ratio display over the back of the box you do have a certain specifications but we're going to talk about those in just a minute it does mention that this device has 4 gigabyte of ram and 64 gigabyte of storage and dual rear cameras if you buy this device in india it is going to be locked to indian sim cards you will need to use the device for about five minutes of talk time with indian sim cards to be able to use it overseas with international sim cards let's quickly cut through the packaging and lift open the box. The first thing inside the box is the phone itself. I'm going to place it to the side for the time being. If you go further in, you do get a whole lot of documentation, which includes a quick start guide in English as well as in Hindi, some SAR information, and the warranty card. Also inside the box is a SIM ejector tool, a pretty standard Samsung style SIM ejector tool. You also have some earphones. They do have an inline microphone and a push button to send and receive calls along with a standard 3.5 mm headphone jack. You also get a wall charger. This is a five volt 1.55 amp wall charger. So it does have a little bit of fast charging capability, slightly more than the standard five volt one amp. So this is a seven and a half watt charger versus a five watt charger. You also get a micro USB charger charging and data syncing cable. You don't get a USB-C in this scenario. Now let's take a quick look at the device itself. So you can see that we have it in the black color over here. It looks really nice. It's got a matte black finish. The frame of the device is a metal frame. The back panel is a plastic back panel and you can see the vertical camera layout for the dual cameras on the back of the device. Let's do a quick one over. Over at the front you do get a 16 megapixel front facing camera with an f1.9 aperture. You can see the earpiece and the LED flash for a front light illumination in the front over there. Just below that is the display. The display is a 6 inch 1480 by 720 pixel resolution display. So it is an HD display and not a full HD display. You do have a little bit of a chin below the display as well as above the display. On the above portion you do get the cameras. On the bottom you can see the micro USB charging port with the microphone and the 3.5 mm headphone jack. Over at the right is the power button along with the speakerphone. You can see the outlet for the speakerphone. A really nice position because it doesn't get muffled easily even when you're playing games or watching videos. There's nothing on the top of the device. Over at the left is where the volume buttons are and also dual trays which will allow you to pop in two SIM cards and one micro SD card up to 256 gigabyte. So on the back you do have your dual camera setup. Now you can see it's in a vertical layout over here. You do get a main 16 megapixel sensor with an f1.7 aperture and a 5 megapixel secondary sensor with an f1.9 aperture. Combined they're supposed to get great amounts of bokeh in your portrait shots along with improved low light performance which we'll be testing out in a review later on if you guys want it. There's also a LED illumination flash over at the right and then you also have the fingerprint sensor below the camera sensors. You also can see a Samsung logo. The back panel is a plastic back panel and it's got this really nice matte finish black color paint on it. You do have the standard markings at the bottom of the back of the device. The device does run Android 8 out of the box along with the Samsung user experience 9. You will get a couple of software updates right off the bat. I would recommend that you install them. The phone is also expected to get Android P later on towards the end of the year, possibly with the launch of the next S series phone. Now running everything is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 450 chipset. This is a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core CPU along with an Adreno 506 GPU. Like I mentioned, you get four gigabyte of RAM and 64 gigabyte of onboard storage. The device also features Bixby on the left of the home screen and you will get certain Bixby features uh, that are available in higher end applications. You also have Samsung Pay Mini, which will allow you to make transactions securely by saving up your information on the device. The Onnit also 
has the Samsung Mall application that allows you to click a picture of any object that you may like and look for it online to purchase it or find similar objects. You also have the My Galaxy app that allows you to get some shows and movies directly on the device as well. Now the camera is a fully extensive camera. You do get a dual camera setup like I mentioned in the beginning. You do have a full-fledged pro mode, a panorama mode, a night mode for interesting low light photography on the device. You also get a beauty mode allowing you to adjust uh, the images as you click them. You also have a live focus, a feature that was first featured on note devices. You can change the amount of background blur as you click the shot. You also have the ability to add stickers and uh, take a continuous shot or a burst mode shot directly from the camera. The phone does capture 1080p video and a maximum of 16 megapixel shots if you do want a 16 by 9 aspect ratio image from the device you will need to dumb down the size of the sensor to 12 megapixels to get a 16 is to 9 crop aspect ratio on the sensor the front camera also has some interesting features including a beauty mode a wide selfie, a selfie focus, and you can also apply stickers uh, to your pictures before you click them or your video before you capture it. Again, these were features seen on flagship Samsung devices now available on the On8. Now the phone seems pretty responsive and snappy. The Super AMOLED display looks absolutely gorgeous on the device. The display is an 18.5 is to nine aspect ratio display. Phone is going on sale on the 6th of August on Flipkart, but here's your chance to win one of eight on eight devices that we are giving away in this exclusive giveaway. The most interesting part about this giveaway is that you will be able to get the device before anyone else. So the giveaway starts right now. You can check out the giveaway link in the description below and the giveaway will end on the 4th of August. Provided the winners can send in their details on time, the device will reach them before the phone officially goes on sale on Flipkart. This is exclusively brought to you by iGAN. The devices will be shipped directly to your doorsteps. Of course, you can check out full terms and conditions and details on the giveaway link and make sure you take part in the giveaway if you want to stand a chance to win one of eight on eight devices that we are giving away. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a part of Team iGAN. If you have any questions or queries regarding the device, do let us know in the comment section below. This has been Bharat. I will see you guys in the next one.